Hey, this is Mehdi with Full Stack Library, and in this video, we'll learn how to use the Flex Grow property to set the ratio growth of the Flex item, which will set the Flex Grow factor to a provided number. I have four items right here with the minimum width of 60 pixels. Okay, whoever I need that this element fit this container, and the growth of this element will fit this container. So once I resize Flex Parent, so the items should fit this container. And for that, I can use a property flex growth. And this flex grow, what, do it, what it's doing exactly is just fit in. So if there is a free space right here, it just use it for the element and they will it will fit this container. However, I need to define a ratio and it will explain for you what this ratio mean exactly. Here, I just use the number one. And what this number one means that the growth will be by the factor of one and the, the growth of the items will be the same. Okay, to, to understand that, let's just go from an initial value of 360. So this is 316 pixels. So we have here 316 pixels. This is the width of the viewport. And if we check the width of each item right here, you see that it is 60 pixels. Okay, we we'll start from 60 pixels, 60 here and 60 here, 60 and 60. And what if, if I just want to go by 10 pixels, so I increase this container right here by 10 pixels. Okay, I will go for 326. Now, instead of 360, I will have 326 pixels. How many pixels that we use? So in this case, we will have 10 pixels more. 10 pixels more. Why? Because 326 minus 360 will give us 10 pixels. So we increase the flexbox parent by 10 pixels. And if we check the size, if we go here and check the size, we will see that we have 62.5 for each item. That means that we have 2.5 right here, then 2.5. So we increase each item by 2.5 pixels. And if you do the addition of these numbers, you will have 10 pixels. 0.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 will give us 10 pixels. Okay, this is why 60 plus 2.5 give us 62.5. And this is what we have here at each item. So they are the same. And we are using flex grow right here. So this one ratio means that when I increase the flex box container, so they should increase or the ratio should be the same. If I add 10 pixels, so it will be distributed for them in the same ratio. And let's just go and increase the size again. So we'll see that the size or the width will always still the same. Now I want to do something different. Instead of having the same growth, I want the ratio to be increased for this item. So if I have 66 and 66 on each item, so I want that the growth of the third item to be three times more. And for that, I will just select first this flexbox item, the third one, so I'll go as child three, then I will use this flex grow, I'll use flex grow, then the value will be three instead of one. What I mean by this code right here is this flex box item, the third one, which is this one right here, the growth of this third one more than the other items. Now let's just demystify how this growth is increased for the third items. Okay, let's just, I will return to the initial value 360 pixels, I will define the viewport to be 316 pixels. Okay, and I will put this value right here, 316 pixels. Then I will increase the viewport to 352, which means that I have 352, let's just choose another color. And if we just do 352 minus 360, we have 36 pixels. It needs to be distributed on each item. Okay, the initial value or the min width that we have here is 16 pixels. It's 60, sorry, 60 pixels. Okay, let's just use 60 here and 60. 
and 60 and 60. So this is the initial value. So we'll start from 60 pixel. This is the minimum. However, if we just go here and we see how this value is increased, we see here that we have 69. Okay, let's just go to the results. We have 69 for the first one, the second one, not the third one, wherever we have 66 on each item because I didn't save the file. So we have 66 and 66, not for the third one. The third one, we have 78. And for the last one, 66. So one, two, and four, they have the same result. 66, 66, sorry, not here. And 66 pixel right here, which means that the value is increased at six pixels. Six here, and six here, and six here. Okay, let's just get the value of the, the third one when we use the flex grow three, which means that we have here, just see the value, 70, 70 eight right here. So it is different. So that means that each item is increasing by six pixels, but for the last one, it is increased by which number? By 18, which gives us 16 plus 18, 78 pixels. If you do the addition first of these numbers, it all gives us 36 because six plus six is 12 plus three is 80, 80 plus 80 is 36. Okay, we go by 36 pixels. So this is what we increase. So we go from 360 pixels to 352, and we go, this is the number that we increase of the Flexbox container of the viewport. Okay, but the problem is why we have, and why we're having this 80 pixels instead of six, because we define here three, which means that this number that we use, that it's increased on each item, will be three times. So six will be times three. So the ratio of the growth will be three instead of one. So this item right here will not be similar to the other ones. And this is why you see here, I have 80, and which will give us 78. And if we just do the addition of all of that. Okay, now if we go and increase the size, you will always see that the width of the third one is always higher than the other items, three times more. So to summarize, so this flex grow value can be any value you want. So, so you have to define which ratio you wanna use. But in general, avoid using any negative number because it is not accepted for this probably flex grow, which means that you can use, which means that you can use any positive number more than zero, because if you are using zero, this will just disable flex growth of the specific item. And once you use any higher value, one, two, three, or any higher value more than zero, it will just enable the growth by the specific ratio.